welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today i'm going to show you a multiplication trick involving numbers which are very close to 50 yes obviously here you will see these numbers are not close to 50 but i am going to use the same trick and you will see that you can use the same trick to for solve these kind of numbers as well but first let's get hang of the trick so over here we know that 51 is how much away from 50 it is one digit away from 50 and 53 is how much away from 50 it is three digits away from 50 so what you should do the next step will be either you cross add means you are adding diagonally so either you add 51 and 3 or you add 53 and 1 so whatever works so if you add 51 and 3 you will get 54 similarly if you add 53 plus 1 is also going to get you 54 and you will multiply with what you will multiply by 50 why because the difference was taken as uh, 50 as the benchmark from 50 okay so your answer now your becomes 0 0 2 carry 2 7 2700 okay so now what you should do is for your final answer you should add just the difference so product of the difference okay so 1 into 3 that gets you 3 so your final answer over here becomes 2703 okay students if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos okay so now let's look for the next one this is plus 2 this is plus 4 so you add either ways we get 56 into 5 50 so your answer is 0 3 carry to 2800 and to that you are going to add what 2 into 4 which is going to be 8 so your answer is 2808 students i would want all of you all to take a pause right now because i've already solved two sums so now i think you got the hang of it and take a pause at this video and try solving the rest of them okay once you are done you can restart the video and see whether whatever you've got done is correct or not so in that way that entire trick will also you know you will also get used to the trick at the same time this is something which you uh, which is needed whenever you learn a new trick you need to at least at least practice for five to six sums okay and do not forget at the end of this video i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you can mention in the comment section i will let you know whether you're right or wrong so now let's do this very quickly this is plus 6 plus 7 so we add so we get 63 into 50 so your answer now becomes 0 15 1 carry so 3 1 5 0 when you add this to 42 your answer becomes 3 1 9 2 okay now for the next one this is plus 5 this is plus 4 you add you get 59 into 50 you're getting 0 5 and 4 carry so 2950 and to that you're going to add 20 so your final answer now becomes 2970 okay students this trick you can do this mentally also but first you need to be very very sure that this you can do this when you're writing or when you're using pen and paper that time you're not making any mistakes okay yes you can definitely do this uh, mentally but you need to be, do a little bit practice for that okay so now next one is 9 and 2 so when you add you get 61 into 50 so you're getting 0 5 3 0 5 0 and to that you are going to add 18 so your answer is 3 0 6 8 okay students a lot of y'all keep asking me that what kind of books to refer in order to increase your basics of mathematics or to strengthen your basics of mathematics if that is one of the case with you then i would recommend a book named as vedic maths for all ages okay the link of that book is available in the description it this book is available on amazon okay so please go ahead and check it out that is one book which will definitely make your uh, basics of mathematics super super easy okay and trust me that fear of mathematics if you have it will definitely help you in solving that so now over here we are coming to the point where there are big numbers involved okay so now this is how much further away 11 and this is 9 
so when you add you get 70 into 50 so your answer is 3500 to that you are going to add 11 into 90 sorry 11 into 9 that is going to get you 3599 so now very quickly let's do for this one this is plus 15 this is plus 3 so this is 68 into 50 so this is going to get you 0 0 4 carry so 3 4 double 0 when you add 15 into 3 that is 45 so your answer is 3 4 4 5 okay so now coming to this one now please understand this 46 is of course closer to 50 but it is little bit below 50 all of the other numbers were you know ahead of 50 so here we are going how many steps down we are going minus four steps down and here we are adding four steps okay four units rather so 46 plus 4 gets you 50 into again 50 because 50 is our benchmark even if we are subtracting the benchmark is still 50 so your answer is 2500 now instead of adding please understand we are we have to add the product okay but here the product is what minus 4 into plus 4 so when you do a product of a negative number with a positive number the answer will always be negative so in that case we have minus 4 into plus 4 so answer is minus 16 so your answer is 4 6 4 2 so answer is 2 4 6 4 okay i hope you get got the hang of it so now here we have what minus 6 plus 7 so here we have 51 into 50 so that gets you 0 5 2 5 5 0 now this is what minus 6 into plus 7 so your answer now changes to what a negative 42 so when you subtract you get 2508 okay i hope you're getting the hang of this method okay if you want we can do one more sum on this 42 into let's say 53 so this is plus 3 this is minus 8 so we do 45 into 50 that gets you 0, 5, 2 carry. So 2, 2, 5, 0 minus 24. So your answer is now going to be 2, 2, 2, 6. Okay, I hope you are getting the hang of it. Okay, so now coming to the part of your DIY. I want you to tell me what is the answer of 54 into 58 do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for today i will see you in the next video